aircraft in history was ever as terrifying as the SR-71. A blackbird, faster than missiles, invisible to radar systems. During the Cold War, America sought ultimate intelligence power, and 71 Saudi Riels became a bold response to this crucial need. In 1960, the U.S. grew concerned about Soviet missiles. Satellite images weren't enough flights over Moscow were essential. The U-2 had been used before, but it was too slow, and air defenses made its missions completely impossible. Lockheed started a top-secret project in total silence. The project's name, Blackbird, built for unmatched speed and altitude. Leading the design was legendary engineer Clarence Kelly Johnson. He created something that would later astonish the entire world. The SR-71 was built entirely from titanium, not usual aluminum. Why? Because body temperatures soared drastically mid-flight. Its speed reached Mach 3 three times the speed of sound, and it flew at altitudes above 25 kilometers consistently. The aircraft's design looked like no bird ever seen. A long nose, narrow body, and uniquely shaped wings. This design helped it remain hidden from enemy radar. In truth, the SR-71 was a semi-stealth aircraft masterpiece. The SR-71's first test flight was in 1964, at Groom Lake in Nevada Desert, under extreme secrecy. When it took off, it roared like a furious dragon, and instantly challenged all the tech norms of its time. Its engines were turbojets with special performance modes. At high speeds, they shifted into ramjet-like functionality. A unique fuel was made just for this plane. Even its fuel system was unlike any seen before. The SR-71 was never armed. It didn't need weapons. Its sole mission was recon, imaging, and rapid escape. If a missile launched, pilots simply pushed for speed. And to this day, no missile has ever hit it. During missions, pilots endured enormous physical pressure. They wore suits similar to astronauts, highly specialized indeed. Each flight took hours and required laser-like concentration. Because even small mistakes could mean catastrophic results. Its cameras had unmatched resolution for their generation. They could read license plates from extreme altitudes, really. And at such speed, it could cross continents in minutes. For the Cold War, this meant total American intel dominance. In Vietnam, North Korea, and the Middle East, it flew. Wherever info was critical, the Blackbird would appear. Even over Soviet skies, it sometimes flew covertly but it was never intercepted or shot down once. America's enemies spent billions trying to defeat it, but SR-71's speed and height were always untouchable. Even the Soviet Union's best defenses failed repeatedly, because by launch, the SR-71 was already far away. But it wasn't flawless, it had extreme operating costs. Each flight hour cost the Pentagon millions of dollars. Its maintenance, fuel, and parts were incredibly complex. That's why retirement discussions began in the 1990s. In 1990, the end of the Blackbird era was declared. Satellites had become more precise and much cheaper. The U.S. Congress pushed to cut the Blackbird's budget, yet the Air Force still needed it for key missions. Eventually, the final operational flight happened in 1998. On that mission, it flew straight from U.S. to Middle East. It returned with critical intel and retired immediately. But the SR-71 story wasn't truly over at all. After retirement, it became a legendary aviation icon, displayed in museums, air shows, and countless aviation books. Its pilots still tell mind-blowing stories of its missions, and fans hope a modern version may someday be built. One of its most famous missions was over Libya. 
In 1986, during Operation El Dorado Canyon, it deployed. It scanned Libyan radar centers without being detected once and sent live data back to base during that flight. The SR-71 still holds a shocking speed world record. It flew from Los Angeles to Washington in 68 minutes. No manned aircraft has come close to that today, proving its technology was decades ahead of its time. In public imagination, the SR-71 became a mythic figure. It appears in movies, games, and aviation novels worldwide. Like a fictional character, but entirely real and documented. Still a symbol of American speed, tech, and dominance. Even future projects like 72 were inspired by it. The next-gen recon aircraft aiming for pilotless hypersonic flights. But SR-71 still reigns in performance and reputation, both among the public and top military analysts globally. One secret the CIA helped build and run this project. The Central Intelligence Agency was involved from the beginning because SR-71 missions were top secret and strategic always. Some of those missions remain classified to this day. The SR-71 pilot suits were later used in space shuttles because flying it was nearly identical to space missions. This means SR-71 wasn't just a plane, it was revolution. A revolution that shaped aviation and space tech together. Even its fuel was engineered exclusively for this plane. So dense it couldn't be lit with matches or lighters. But at high temperatures, it gave unmatched engine efficiency. And at high speeds, nothing else could match its power. In a world where tech changes fast every single day, the SR-71 still lives in minds of fans and engineers, not just for its shape and records, but its philosophy. A philosophy that says, impossible is just a challenge. If someday, a truly unbeatable aircraft is ever made, designers must first look back and study the SR-71. Because this bird wasn't just a machine, but a legacy and it'll fly forever in the skies of our imagination.